caddy out and about. I've said it before and I'll say it again. You just cannot beat England in the sunshine. Just as we were nearing the end of our tethers last week with that awful weather, it looks like summer's finally arrived. But I also had a call from a rather worried group of actors wanting to know what the weather would be like this week. Probably don't associate theatre and the weather, but this is an open air production. It is England. Guess what it's called? The Tempest. Well, that is really original. Rob, you're the director here. It's not exactly your traditional Shakespearean production, no, is it? No, it's not. It's a bit of a bonkers play, Tempest. It's, uh, and we're setting it here at Bortmont Chelsea Place, where we did Midsummer Night's Dream last year. And last year we moved the audience around the whole place, but this year we're setting it in this lovely garden. But we're going to get 300 people in here, sitting everywhere, and the actors perform in between everybody. So it's quite exciting, it's quite interactive. Uh, we've also got these uh, sprites. The Tempest is set on this island in the middle of nowhere and it's, it's got all these weird creatures. We base it like the X-Men in Marvel, having all these creatures with special powers moving all over the place. And uh, we're lucky enough to get Expressive Feet to work with us, so aerial artists working with about a group of, uh, a group of about 26 young people to teach them how to fly and to have magnificent powers so they're bouncing around all over the place it's a very exciting Shakespearean experience but it's not boring Shakespeare by any stretch of the imagination there's one thing you want to know from me very much so it's outdoors we're here until Saturday we want to know what's the weather gonna do you're incredibly jammy. You're going to have dry weather all week, it looks like. So dry weather tonight, which is an added bonus because it is, of course, since Swithin's day today. And the law has it that if it rains today, it's going to carry on raining for 40 days and 40 nights afterwards. But where on earth does a weather legend like that come from? Well, it's from the 9th century, a guy called Swithin. When he died, he asked to be buried outside so he could always be exposed to the pitter patter of raindrops. But 100 years after he was buried, he was actually moved inside into a tomb. So he unleashed a torrential downpour that went on and on for days. So now the law is, if it rains today, it's going to carry on raining, which is why we're all so glad that it hasn't rained today. Not that we really believe it, but it is going to be dry this evening, dry overnight and dry for the next three or four nights, if not longer. So tonight also, even with clear skies, it's not going to get that cold. Minimum temperature, 13 Celsius and just a little bit of mist in places. That mist quickly burning away tomorrow morning. And then in the afternoon, a little bit more cloud than we've seen today, making it slightly cooler. But for the rest of the week, it's looking dry. Lots and lots of sunshine. Shine. Summer is definitely here. Back to you two. All those sun symbols on the chart, we can let Caddy go out again, I think. That's I think what we should. Get. I think we should. She <laughs> likes it out there. Now, listen, I've got a bit of a recipe for you. Take one pensioner, a spirit of adventure, and two.